In this video, I am going to show you how to determine an optimal chunk size for large language models. Before I do that, let's have a quick overview of what exactly a chunk is. When we humans are thinking about something, we have a limited memory and context. Similarly, artificial intelligence models have a limited context when dealing with data. This context is a limit within which a model can process text. When a model is faced with text larger than its context, then it divides that text into chunks. Chunk size is defined as number of characters in a text. When given a text, LLM looks at chunk size provided and then see if a paragraph in text fit into that chunk size. Now, if you look at this diagram, we have a text document and we have defined chunk size as 10. So model is going to divide this text document into chunks of 10 characters each. And the way model divides this text document is first it looks at the paragraph, then it delves into sentences, then it divides sentences into words, and then words into characters. Let me describe it with an example. If you look at this example text, we have defined a chunk size as 10. So what model will do here is, when given a text, this model will look at chunk size provided first, and then it will see if a paragraph in text fits into that chunk size. If it is, then it looks at second paragraph and see if the combined character count of both paragraphs fit into chunk size. If it's not, then it will just create one chunk out of first paragraph. Let me say it in another words. So in this example, we have chunk size 10. So model has started from the top left reading this paragraph. Let's say until south, starting from this this archipelago and until south there are 10 characters so this will make up of one chunk and then model will look at pacific ocean south and then it will count 10 characters that will be the second chunk now let's suppose we have defined this chunk as 100 now let's suppose this whole thing from the first paragraph will fit in that 100 character so it will be first chunk then model will look at the second paragraph character size or character count to see if that would fit it to the first chunk. If it doesn't, it will create a second chunk out of it. And similarly, let's say we have given it chunk size of 1000. The whole thing will fit into one chunk. So this is how we can define our chunks. Also, if a paragraph is larger than chunk size, then it divides that paragraph into sentences and then see if first sentence fits into chunk size. If it does, then it looks at second paragraph and then see if combined size of sentences fit into chunk. And if yes, then it keeps going. Otherwise, it splits sentences into words and then into characters. Okay, if it is still confusing, Let's have a look at a coding example to see how this thing works. On your screen, you can see that I have this Google Colab already set, and I will be using Langchain, which is a framework for developing applications, to show you this chunking thing. Now, the first thing you need to do is to pip install Langchain module. Once that's done, import it, and then from this Langchain, import this function recursive character text splitter which actually gives us the chunks now in this example first i am specifying chunk size as 10 and i am saying that there should be no overlap between chunks and these are the delimiters or separators which is new line space and stuff which, which i'm using as a separator and in this example i'm not specifying it as you can see i have just commented it down i'm just keeping it very simple Okay, so it will only split this text given in this text variable on the basis of this chunk size. Now, in this example, I have given it just 10. So it means that it will start counting from here and it should just provide us the chunks by the um, division of 10s. 
then I'm just simply printing the whole length of this paragraph and then I'm getting the chunks from this splitter. I'm printing the chunk and the length of the chunk. Let me run it. Just clicking on this button. So you can see the total length of this paragraph is 314 and we have 44 uh, chunks here. Now this is, look at this, what is happening here is, what it did, it started reading from left, one, two, three, uh, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the first character, sorry, first word is fitting into the chunk size. And then it said, okay, let me check if the second word is, fits into this chunk size or not. It doesn't. So it just has provided us the first chunk here, as you can see this chunk. Now it started reading the next word, which is archipelago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't fit into the chunk size of ten. So it just cut it until A and it provided us the chunk here. Now then it started reading the next one, one, two, and it just provided a that chunk size. And then because this is a complete word, and then similarly, it just goes on and on. Now you can see if we are going with this chunk size, there are a lot of chunks, which doesn't sound optimal. So that is why let's try it out with maybe 100. Run it again. Now the number of chunks have reduced considerably. So for instance, it when it started reading, um, it has went up to this it, and there are around 100 characters. So it, it looked at the second one and third and fourth. So we have four chunks here divided into um, this 100 chunk size. Now the thing is that um, how do you know what is optimal here? So here is the trick. You could never really tell from these chunk sizes if it makes sense or not because remember LLMs are doing semantic intelligence search. So it all depends on the quality of your data and it depends on what exactly you are going to ask from this LLM. For instance, if you have your company's documents and you, you know that um, the questions which people are going to ask is around um, the specific terms from the documents, which will be smaller. So you could adjust your chunk sizes smaller, but if um, you people are saying, okay, summarize this document and that sort of stuff, then you need bigger chunk sizes. Now, if that is one thing you could do, but if you're still confused and you don't know, then a general rule of thumb is that fewer higher relevant chunks are better than several less relevant chunks. And that was also evident in our, this example where when we were giving chunk size of 10, there were a lot of useless chunks and it was a lot of um, fragmentation there. But when we have increased our chunk size, the number of chunks have reduced. But there is one um, drawback or should I say word of caution around huge chunk sizes is that sometimes when you increase the chunk size, a lot of irrelevant data comes into that context. Because remember um, that LLM's context is where it processes the data. Now, for example, let me increase a chunk size to 1000. What would happen is the whole thing, this whole paragraph would be in one chunk, as you can see in the output. Now, if you look at the paragraph, in the first uh, paragraph, it is talking about Samoa which is a Pacific Island. And then in the second one, it is talking about Tonga. Now, these are irrelevant in case in this case with each other. So if a LL, if someone is asking this LLM question about Samoa, LLM shouldn't be even looking at Tonga, because Tonga is irrelevant here. Similarly, if someone is asking about Tonga, LLM shouldn't be worrying about Samoa. It will just be wasting time or it might even just confuse both of them together and uh, just hallucinate and give us a wrong answer. So this is where you need to strike a balance uh, depending upon the questions which are going to be asked from your LLM. So this is it guys. I hope that this was useful. If you still have any confusion or question, please feel free to ask them in the comments. And if you like the content, 
please consider subscribing to the channel thank you